Let you know, man, you are really encouraging me, motivating me, inspiring me. But God is really using you to help me out. Those that say that I have given up on love. I don't want you to give up. Why are you giving up on love? I get it. Somebody has hurt you in the past. But this is crazy. It's just like the racism thing where you get stereotyped. All white people or all black people, all Indian people, all Haitian people, they're not the same. So how are you going to categorize all people for something that one person did? You can't. That's not the point that I was going to make, but that's a really good one too. But, you know, for, for us relationships, I get it. You were cheated on. I've been cheated on, right? I went through divorce. And I and the reason I can speak so fluently about this, because I was at that point, but like, yo, I'm done with love. I'm done with it. I'm just going to, you know, grind and do my thing. And if I meet somebody, I meet somebody, but I ain't looking for it. And I really wasn't looking for it. It just happened. But what I'm saying is I was once that person that said, I'm done with love. And next thing you know is, bam, fell back in love. So what I'm what I'm suggesting to you, to you is I get it. You're angry. You're frustrated. And now, if you're saying now, I respect, I salute those people that say, listen, I'm taking a break from relationships right now. I'm just trying to work on me. I'm trying to fix my credit. I'm trying to work on my mental health. I'm just I'm just trying to get me together. I, I listen. I got nothing but respect for you because this is the thing. When you, in fact, are trying to work on you. Don't worry about missing the one that God has for you. You're not going to miss it. You're not going to miss it. As, because this is the thing. I would rather for you to take the time to work on you. And then when you find the one or the person finds you that God has intended for you to be with and you're healed and whole, the relationship can work versus you're not healed and whole and you're still holding grudges and you still have, what's the word, malice in your heart. Now, this relationship is going to be broken It's not because the foundation that it started on is not really good. You didn't heal from your past traumas, your past pains. I want to be here to tell you, I don't respect those. I'm still, I, I still got my one point. I don't respect those that say, listen, I'm done with love. Why? Here's my point. Why are you done with love? Please tell me why. Give me, give me a good enough reason to say, okay, they cheated on me. Uh, something traumatic happens. And I'm not being insensitive to what you went through. You could have went through something where you had to defend yourself and you had to kill the person, right? And I get it. That's very, and that's on the real traumatic end. You know, other stuff could have happened. They could have cheated. They could have took your money. They could have lied about whatever, right? But on the deepest end that I can really think about is that you had to Take that person out. You had to take them out, right? Even with that, I wouldn't say give up on love. Why? Because all people are not the same. Here's my point. How many of y'all have ever been fired from a job, right? You've been fired from a job, been terminated from a job. You quit a job because of whatever. They treated you bad. Whatever, whatever the reason why you quit the job or you left the job, you left the job. Did you give up on jobs? Even if you said, listen, I quit my nine to five to become an entrepreneur, but did you stop? Did you quit on working? You didn't. You found a different situation. You found another circumstance, right? You found another way because this is the thing. If, if you want to try to be analytical or try to be super deep, oh no, I left, I quit my job and I went to become an entrepreneur. You didn't stop making money. Your job was the way that you made money, that you had revenue coming in. You didn't stop having revenue coming in, whether you started a business or whether you got with somebody that had money. You didn't stop finding a way to have revenue come in. So why are you giving up on love? I get it. You want to pivot. You want to switch. I get it. I get it. You want to put some stuff together. You want to work on you. You want to put this. I get it. You want to get some stuff together in order. This is the thing. All people are not the same. And when you begin to tune people out because you're saying I'm done with love, you could be missing out on the greatest blessing that God has for you. Better yet, you could be missing out on an opportunity to help somebody else out because on this podcast, we're all about not being selfish. You could be in position to change somebody's life. But since you gave up on love, you you can never exercise the opportunity of changing somebody's life because... 